everyone, it's Freya in Glasgow. So I've walked around the conference centre today to try to talk to some interesting people about why they think finance is important and also why it's important for women to be empowered to help achieve climate justice and climate action. So I hope you enjoy these couple of interviews. Climate finance is very important for women because they are the ones that are at the forefront of adapting to climate change. They are even more vulnerable to climate change and then they are the ones facing it on the, on the ground. We have issues of poor access to energy. Women need energy but yet they are the forefront of the kitchen and cooking and fetching firewood. So if they don't have the resources to reduce um, the use of firewood, which affects the, um, the forest, we will not be able to reduce our impact or carry them along in the solution. Even right now in my country, we have a lot of women working on local uh, solutions and they need to be strengthened, to be empowered with finances to ensure that they adapt and they mitigate climate change in their own way. Australia is a developed country and they are responsible for emitting. So they should support their local women and the developing countries to adapt and to respond to climate change accordingly. If they can actually meet their commitment, a lot of developing countries will be able to adapt. And without finance, we cannot actually get more action done on ground. And most of the things that we do is really very critical and very linked to impacts of climate change. For instance, we are the ones that look for water for the family, we are the ones that look for food for the family, and we are the ones that make sure that our children are okay and they are not sick. These are the areas in which climate disasters actually disrupt. So we need finance to address all these things. By that, we can have a stable nation and a stable world. We have six geopolitical zones in Nigeria. Coming from the northern part of the country, we see desert encroachment. To the southern part of the country, we see what we call gas flaring. We see uh, 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 a lot of problem when it comes to farmers' headmen. Then, looking at the southwest, where we have the flooding issue, erosion is really affecting. We also have the sea level rise. The impact of climate change is really eating deep. And if we don't take action now, it's going to be like a time bomb.